Hello, it is Thy Kusk, and this, in this video I'm going to be talking about astrology. This is going to be one of the only 12 videos I'm going to be making about this topic due to I'm like one of the only one of my friends that are like really hyped about this, so I just want to throw that out there. You're not going to be plagued by my videos about this topic. Anyways, I'm going to be talking about the Immuquilae and the M Midheaven axis, which goes this way. It does not go like this way, it does not look like a boob. Um, if you don't know, the sun in astrology does look like a boob. It is kind of funny if you have the sense, well, like the humor of a 12-year-old like I do. But anyways, let's get on to it. I'm going to be talking about if Libra is down here and Aries is up here. If you have an Aries midheaven and a Libra, I see. Well, Immune Quilae. And, you know, the Immune Quilae is the fourth house and the tenth house is the midheaven. So if you have a housing system, you will, you know, see this bold line going up and down, and if it hits those two signs, then, you know, this video may pertain to you. Anyway, so, um, you know, there is another bold line that goes right here. If you have, um, um, what's it, if you have AC next to, um, the signs Gemini, Cancer, or Leo, this video is probably for you. <laughs> um... Because those three sign, the three ascendant signs can have this midheaven. All right, so the midheaven does pertain to public image, which involves career, and also it involves um, how you are like on social media. This is why I want to start with this axis because we're on social media, so. <laughs> Yeah, um, anyways, the sign of Aries in general, they're the first cardinal sign, they have to start things, alright? <laughs> um, they have a lot ahead of them. They have 11 signs ahead of them, exact, like, to be, like, precise, and they have a lot to learn. You know, they're, they may seem a little bit impulsive and, you know, miss, like, a couple details because, you know, they're such a young sign, and put in... A house ruled by Capricorn, which is the oldest cardinal sign. They're square. Things might get a little rough. Um, they are the fall of Saturn. If you have, a, well, if your Saturn sign is in Aries, then I'm sorry to break this to you, you have the most difficult Saturn sign. And so with that being said, this is where the Midheaven does not really want to be. But they kind of do because Although the Capricorn and Aries are squares, they are actually very similar in a sense. And because, you know, Aries is ambitious and Capricorn's ambitious. So basically, although Aries may miss some details here and there, they do have a lot of ambition and they do, but on top of that, they have a lot of energy. So they need jobs where they can be their own boss. And they can let that little bit of stubborn energy in the cardinal signs to shine, in a way. But they also need to be, you know, on their feet. And be able to have careers where they can be on their feet. <laughs> and, you know, they don't need a desk job, you know. They aren't low energy. They are a fire sign, and they go after things. And that's just how the Aries nature is. Um... So as a career, they want to, you know, a lot of athletes have this midheaven, so they do want to be active. On social media, though, they may, like, have some issues. Like, also in career, I think I want to mention that they may need to learn how to sit down once in a while. And with that being said, on social media, they may need to, they may need to learn how to calm down a little bit. <laughs> in a sense that they can post whatever pops up in their mind. Like, in Aquarius Midheaven, they are the meme ones out there on social media. They are the ones who post the controversial memes. Um, but they are not looking for a shock reaction, they just find it funny and post it there, even though it may offend others. That's, like, kind of what Aries is like. And also, Kanye West is in Aries Midheaven, so he does, so like, when he did go through his mental breakdown, he did publicize it in a way that, um, you know, was in various tweets. It was repetitive. It was whatever popped up in his head. 
He's also a Cancer Ascendant, which is the more emotional Ascendant. All right, some Cancer Ascendants come off very close and it's like, you, you're not knowing my emotions and I'm not really an emotional being and I don't really like people. And so I know it seemed really sweet and nice, but you're not gonna get in to my headspace. My headspace is mine. And they're like stingy from, <laughs> what's it, <laughs> lazy town, I guess, you know? Their emotions are mine, all right? <laughs> no, like, it takes a lot to get it through them. But some of them will, you know, put their emotions right on their sleeve and express them, you know? Those are like the kinds of cancer ascendants out there. And, you know, with um, cancer being very different from Aries as a square, you know, these um, emotions from the Cancer Ascendant can be very, um, you know, what's it, presented through the Aries of Heaven. So basically, although they are leaders and, you know, can have so much energy and career and be a boss, a leader, someone like that, they may need to sit down sometimes, they may need to look through their tweets sometimes, you know, they may need to, you know, step down a little bit. Although Aries is not the sign to do that. They are number one, speaking of lazy town, all right? I'm sorry, I had to throw that in there. But seriously, they are the first sign. They do, they have 11 more signs to go. They want to go after every career opportunity that is in front of them because they want to learn. They want to go through life. They want to see what works and what doesn't. And also speaking of that, where did all that come from? That is their Libra, I see. Their Libra Imium Coeli. This may have been a, in that, you know, is a private life. It, you know, is, you know, around, like, you know, it is ruled by family. That, that's the fourth house, you know, Cancer rules family. You know, when Libra is in there, you know, Libra is very similar to Cancer in a way, you know, but Libra is more, has a more social face, but there is a sense of understanding with Cancer, you know, with them, because they're the more, um, they're not, well, like, Libra isn't exactly, isn't exactly emotional, like, they try to reject emotion sometimes, but Cancer and Libra are more likable compared to Aries and Capricorn. They know how to relate to people. And they know what people want to see. So, basically, Libra is ruled by Venus. It makes things either nice or it makes them look nice, at least. So, basically, they may have had a nice childhood. They may have had nice parents, alright? On the other hand, they may have just had parents that covered everything up and made, and, you know, tried to show other people that they were a good family, at least. Um, on, like, the flip side of things, but... <laughs> For the most part, these people had nice parents. They may have had a lot of siblings too, because with Gemini and Libra, um, Ices, they may have had a lot of siblings. Like Gemini rules siblings, and Libra is the get along sign. So basically, they these kids like the Aries of Heaven as a kid had to get along with someone. <laughs> And usually the parents would be like, oh, get along with your siblings, okay? You know, you should do that. You know, don't boss them around. Don't tell them what to do, you know. Work with them. Compromise. And, you know, so they weren't the leader at the house. Probably their parents were, or another sibling was. Or, you know, one of their guardians were. You know, <laughs> they were not the leader. And they've wanted that ever since they were a kid. So they lacked independency as a kid and with this dependent surrounding for them they as kids you know they're like hey you know when I grow up I'm going to be more independent and I'm going to have an energetic face to show the world and that's what they did <laughs> they as they grow up they climb the mountain from the bottom to the top which they are on the Aries mountain so they get so you know at the top, they, you know, become the leader. They, you know, show emotions if they're a Cancer Sun, and probably, you know, their emotions are probably more exhaled and seem actually more aggressive online. 
um, if they are Cancer Ascendant, but, and they may seem more warrior-like, what I've read. But basically, when they climb that mountain, they become the leader that they've wanted to be at home. And they just flourish with all the energy they had, you know, going up. They use that energy to take on what the world offers because they are number one <laughs> and they have to pick up more than one net to capture their goals. Man, I'm bad at explaining things. But yeah, this is um, my first astrology video, one out of 12, nothing more, nothing less. You're not going to get any more astrology videos, I promise you. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, also, th I, d I am filming this through my Facebook too. So, guys on Facebook, thank you for letting, for like not yelling at me for doing this. This actually did help me. So, thank you so much. I will see you on the flip side. Um, social media down below. And yeah, I hope you did not get too bored with this.